Hey everybody, I'm Ted from Tabex. In this tutorial, we are looking at custom maps for Rust. I won't show you how to create a full custom map from scratch, but I'll show you how you can host a custom map and how you can make small changes. For example, adding a custom prefab. If you never hosted a Rust server before, and the first thing you're trying to do is host a custom map, things might get a little bit confusing. I would recommend setting up the Rust server first and then changing the map to your custom map. As you can see here, my server is updated. It's currently not running. If I go to configuration files, custom map is disabled. So when I enable this, it tells me custom map URL and it says type the download link of your custom map. And the most important thing is that this link has to be a direct download link. When you go to this link, the map file should start downloading right away. I will show you how you can do this later on in the video. For now, we first need to get a map file. I like to set it up with a map that I know is working. And then when I know the server is working, I then change the map file. If I then run into issues, I know that the issues are in the map file and not in the server. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to community and I'm going to randomly join any of the servers that it says procedural map. If it says custom map or it has the name of the custom map, don't do any of those. Make sure it says procedural map. When I spawn in, I'll be back. So I'm ready to load in and I'm just going to quickly check the map. So at the bottom here, we have an island with these rivers. So that is the map that we joined. This is all we need. I'm going to disconnect for now. Then inside of Steam, I'm going to go to Rust, right click and say properties, local files and browse the local files. Inside here should be a maps folder. And when sorting on date, it should show the latest map that you joined. Procedural map with the size and also the seed of the map. I'm going to drag that file into Discord and just press enter to upload it to Discord. It is bigger than the normal file size that you're allowed to do. I have Discord Nitro. If you don't have Discord, like I said, use something like Dropbox, as long as you can generate a direct download link. Going to our configuration files, inside of our server.cfg custom map is enabled. The Discord link from our map is pasted over here. Then let's start up the server. And once this is running, let's go into the web console and see if this is booting without any issues or errors. So it says that the map is spawned and that it's now doing the save file. So that's usually one of the last steps before the server is done. So it seems like the map file is working without any issues. So the server should now be done. It says no game mode, IP address for server, server startup complete. So I'm now going to get the IP address and port for my server. Then in F1, do connect and then the connection information, press enter. And then after connecting, let's see if we get the same map. Let's respawn. And here we go. Let's take a look at the map. And as you can see, same island, same rivers, exactly the same map. So now we have our server running a custom map. If you're unfamiliar with this on the right, these are not cheats. This is a admin plugin called admin radar. So now that we know our server is set up correctly to run custom maps, now we can just change that URL and host any custom map, including our own maps. So if you then try to run your own map and it isn't working, you know there's an issue with the map and not with your server. So I'm going to disconnect. I'm going to stop my server. You might have already seen it in the Discord, but as an example, I'm going to be using this Australia free map. So I went to this Australia page, downloaded it, dragged it into Discord simply by getting that link, changing the link in the server.cfg, it should then just host that custom map. But what if we want to make small changes or add a custom prefab, for example, to mix up the map between wipes? Let's get a free monument or prefab from loan.design. Let's, for example, do this Anubis statue. Looks pretty cool. Let's download this. You then have to install the Rust Edit Launcher. This link will be in the video description. This will ask for your Rust location. So once again, go to Steam, right click, Properties, and under Local Files, you can click on Browse. This will open up your Rust folder. And if you click on this folder icon, you can then copy the complete path. Once you've directed Rust Edit to your Rust path, everything should be linked up properly. Then inside of Rust Edit, we're going to load a map and I'm going to locate the free Australia map that I'm using as an example and click on load. So in this case, the password was included in a text file. Press enter and it says done. So 
Australia free version three. This is the map that we have. If you press G, you can see that indeed this is the Australia map. Inside of your Rust Edit installation folder, there's a folder called Custom Prefabs. If we take our files from our Anubis download, drag that in here. Inside of Rust Edit, open up our prefab list and refresh. Inside of Custom, we should have our Anubis statue. We can then drag that in here. And it also has some height information. So when we click apply height, you can see that the floor will update. If you're unfamiliar with the basic controls of a Rust edit, like manipulating the prefabs, resizing and stuff like that, I will link to my videos in the description talking about map making and showing you all those basics. But hopefully as a server owner that doesn't want to deal with map making, at least this way you can offer custom maps, know how you can host them, know how to make small changes and also how to add prefabs to spice up the map from wipe to wipe. Hopefully this basic overview was helpful. If anything is unclear, of course, feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, thank you for watching and good luck with your Tabex store.